In the math course that I teach, a student can be given a polygon graphed on a coordinate plane and some vertices of the polygon and asked to find the area. In this case, we are being asked to find the area of rhombus A, B, C, D. There is more than one way of doing this question, but I want to do it using the distance between a point and a line formula because this formula is one of the things that is tested in the exam I'm preparing my students for, and I want to make sure that the students have some practice using it. So the first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to find the distance of diagonal BD, because in a rhombus, I need to know both the long diagonal and the short diagonal to use the area formula. The distance between point B and point D will be found with this regular distance formula, which I already have. I'm going to plug in the values. And we get 2 minus negative 4 and 2 minus negative 4. When we simplify, we end up with the square root of 72 as our answer. And that is equal approximately to 8.49 units. The next thing I'm going to do is find the equation of uh, diagonal BD. And that starts with finding the slope. The slope of BD it will be found with the slope formula in which I'm plugging 2 minus negative 4 and 2 minus negative 4 which gives me 6 over 6, which is equal to 1. The slope of diagonal BD is 1. Now to find the equation, I take that slope and I plug it back into the slope formula and I put in one of the points of BD. I'm going to use 2, 2. And I derive the equation. The equation will be y equals x. But I choose to express that as y equals x plus 0. Because to use the distance between a point and a line formula, I'm using the y equals ax plus b form for the straight line equation. My a is 1, and I'm showing my b. My b is 0. So a equals 1, b equals 0. Now it's time to use the distance between a point and a line formula, which I've also placed here. I just have to plug in the values. a is 1, x1 is negative 3, y1 is 1, and b is 0. Down here in the denominator, I have the square root of a squared plus 1, which is 1 squared plus 1. When I simplify, this gives me 2 root 2, which is equal approximately 2.83. We're done with the distance between a point and a line formula. When I did this formula, I was using the equation for the diagonal BD, and the point that I was using was point A. But that gives me the distance between point A and the diagonal, which is half of the distance between point A and point C. I need the distance between point A and point C because that represents my small diagonal for this rhombus. So I am taking my 2.83 and I am multiplying it by 2 to get small d. And that gives me approximately 5.66. Finally, I can use the area of a rhombus formula Plugging my large diagonal and my small diagonal in there, my long diagonal is the 8.49 that I got in my first step. My small diagonal is the 5.66 that I've gotten here. 
and I, of course, will divide by 2. So my answer is exactly 24 units squared. Now, of course, I did some rounding along the way. So if I were to plug these values